In a groundbreaking feat of scientific achievement, Chinese scientists have ushered in a new era of technological power by launching their own artificial sun, which is five times more hotter than our sun and costs trillions of dollars, marking a significant milestone in the global quest for limitless, clean energy. Join us as we delve into the significance of this landmark development and its implications for the world. At the heart of our solar system lies a celestial furnace that has been burning brightly for over 4.6 billion years, the sun. As a massive ball of hot glowing gas, the sun is the primary source of energy that sustains life on Earth and drives the dynamics of the entire solar system. The sun is a gargantuan sphere, composed primarily of hydrogen, about 74.9% of its mass, and helium, about 23.8% of its mass, with trace amounts of other elements. This blend of elements is the result of nuclear fusion processes occurring at its core, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. At the sun's core, temperatures reach an astounding 15 million degrees Celsius, and pressure is incredibly high due to its massive gravitational pull. This process has been ongoing for billions of years and is expected to continue for several billion more as the sun still has ample hydrogen fuel to burn. The sun emits an astounding amount of energy, radiating approximately 384.6 yottawatts into space. One yottawatt is equals to one trillion gigawatts. This immense output is equivalent to about 386 billion watts enough to power our planet for millions of years. Humans have harnessed the power of the sun for various purposes, particularly in recent years with the rise of solar energy technologies. Solar panels, made of photovoltaic cells, convert sunlight directly into electricity, offering a clean and renewable alternative to fossil fuels. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers the stars, including our sun. It involves the fusion of light atomic nuclei, such as hydrogen isotopes, to form heavier elements, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. Unlike nuclear fission, which powers current nuclear reactors, fusion does not produce harmful radioactive waste, making it an attractive and environmentally friendly option for meeting the world's growing energy demands. For decades, scientists worldwide have been working on harnessing nuclear fusion to create a sustainable energy source. However, Due to its technical complexities and the extreme conditions required to initiate and maintain fusion reactions, achieving practical fusion energy has remained an elusive goal. Scientists are hoping by simulating the sun's natural reaction. Their technology could allow people to harness massive amounts of energy, and now China has developed its own artificial sun that is five times hotter than the sun in our solar system. China's foray into nuclear fusion began with the establishment of the EAST project in 2006. Located at the Institute of Plasma Physics in Hefei, the EAST Tokamak is an experimental fusion device designed to replicate the conditions found within the core of the sun. It utilizes superconducting magnets to confine and control the hot plasma where fusion reactions occur within a donut-shaped chamber called a tokamak. In December 2022, Chinese scientists made a groundbreaking milestone by achieving a sustained fusion reaction in the EAST device. This achievement involved reaching a temperature of over 150 million degrees Celsius, more than 10 times hotter than the sun's core. At such extreme temperatures, hydrogen isotopes in the plasma can overcome their mutual repulsion, fuse together, and release an abundance of energy. China has once more broken a world record in April 2023 by superheating a loop of plasma for more than 17 minutes at temperatures five times hotter than the sun. A temperature of 158 million degrees Fahrenheit, 70 million degrees Celsius, was maintained by the experimental advanced superconducting tokamak nuclear fusion reactor for 1,056 seconds. The accomplishment moves researchers a small but important step closer to developing a source of nearly limitless clean energy. 
the French Tour Super Tokamax 2003 record of 390 seconds for plasma in a coiling loop remaining at identical temperatures was beaten by the Chinese experimental nuclear fusion reactor. For more than 70 years, researchers have worked to harness the power of nuclear fusion, the mechanism that stars use to burn. So-called main-sequence stars may produce massive amounts of energy without emitting greenhouse gases by fusing hydrogen atoms to create helium at extremely high pressures and temperatures. The tokamak, the most popular type of fusion reactor, operates by heating plasma to a very high temperature. One of the four states of matter, composed of positive ions and negatively charged free electrons, then confining it inside a reactor chamber with strong magnetic fields. However, it has taken a lot of work to hold the turbulent and extremely hot coils of plasma in place long enough for nuclear fusion to occur. The first tokamak was developed by Soviet scientist Natan Yevlinsky in 1958. How to handle a plasma that is hot enough to ignite has been one of the major roadblocks. Fusion reactors need to operate at considerably lower pressures than where fusion naturally occurs inside the cores of stars, thus they need to be incredibly hot, far hotter than the sun. It is relatively simple to cook plasma to temperatures higher than the sun, but it is physically challenging to contain it enough that it doesn't burn through the reactor walls, either using lasers or magnetic fields, without also halting the fusion process. EAST is being used to test out technology for a far larger fusion project, and it is projected to cost China more than $1 trillion by the time the trial is over. ITER contains the most powerful magnet in the world, making it capable of producing a magnetic field 280,000 times as strong as the one around the Earth. ITER is expected to be the largest nuclear reactor in the world and is the result of cooperation between 35 countries, including every state in the European Union, the UK, China, India, and the US. Scientists will learn even more about the feasibility of using star power on Earth when the fusion reactor is anticipated to be active in 2025. Additionally, China is advancing more of its own initiatives to create nuclear fusion energy. The country is conducting inertial confinement fusion tests and expects to finish building a new tokamak by the early 2030. China's artificial sun, the East Tokamak, marks a significant milestone in the global pursuit of nuclear fusion as a viable and sustainable energy source. By achieving a sustained fusion reaction, China has demonstrated its commitment to pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration and advancing humanity's knowledge and technological capabilities. As fusion research progresses, international collaboration will remain crucial in pooling resources, sharing knowledge and overcoming the technical challenges associated with fusion energy. With continued dedication and cooperation, fusion energy could transform the world's energy landscape, offering a cleaner, greener, and more prosperous future for generations to come. I hope you liked watching this video. For more fascinating space-related content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your support as always, and I'll see you in the next video.